Is that really all the armor? Oh, uh, well, it's all the armor that I can make. Psst. It's not right now. I'm busy. I hear you want more armor. You have my attention. Use my knowledge. I beg of you. Ladies, gentlemen, and monsters of all ages, you may be surprised to hear this, but if you do every quest in Sunbreak, every single one, you could still easily be missing up to 14 different full-on master rank armor sets. Why? Well, put simply, they don't come from quests. They come from the buddy system, from this little cat fellow over here on the docks. Before we dive in, make sure to subscribe to the notification bell for more Sunbreak Info, news, tips, tricks, gameplay, and just fun in general as we are playing the game like all hell here on this channel. So, how do you get these armor sets? Well, those of you with a good memory will know that in the base game in Monster Hunter Rise, there was a way to get a number of unique sets from the buddy systems. But for those who are new and those who have forgotten, I will fill you in. As not only do we have the master rank versions of all of those sets, but there are a number of new ones too. First up, let's talk about the Argosi system a little bit. You probably know it best as the place that you set to give you honey and then walk away from. But if you take a closer look when you are selecting the material to gather, you'll see that it has a chance of getting some bonus items in the corner. This is what happens when you set it to get honey and it comes back with something that, well, isn't honey. The items that it shows on the side are rare drops, and if you get one of the named ones there, it will actually unlock its own armor set. There are three categories of item that you can farm at the Argosi for three different kinds of rare drops, loosely fit into nuts, honey slash mushrooms, and plants and fish. The first category of these has a rare drop chance for Valibiscus, as well as the Sun Spring Night Carp. The others that it shows are high rank materials, but these two specifically will each unlock their own master rank armor set. The Valibiscus unlocks the Melahoa armor set, which makes you look like Robin Hood if the hoodie was Robin was the inside of a Venus flytrap. The skills on this are three Paralysis Resistance, three Divine Blessing, four Botanist, three Recovery Up, three Recovery Speed, and two Stamina. A surge. It isn't a particularly notable set, but it has a unique aesthetic, and of course, once you reach the end of the game, you'll be able to turn anything that you want into layered armor, including this set. The Sun Spring Night Carp, which you can get as a rare drop from the same farming routine, unlocks the Maclova set. McLovin? This makes you look like some sort of fish tengu hybrid, and it's funky as hell. Very unique, and the skills on it are three sleep resistance, three speed eating, two stamina surge, five water attack, three bubbly dance, leap of faith, and three resuscitate. It's interesting that they put the bubbly dance and resuscitate combo on this one. I quite like that combo of skills, but it doesn't really make this armor all that good anyways. It's more of a skill combo that you put on top of an already strong set, really. The next ones are the ones that you likely already have, as most people have their Argosi set to trade for honey by default, the rare drops when farming, which are the deep shell and the split jaw butterfly. For the deep shell drop, you unlock the shell studded armor set in master rank, which is just a lovely aesthetic. I ran around with the pants of this layered armor for for a decent portion of time in base rise, and the master rank set just improves on the skills themselves on the base armor. Being pretty undoubtedly a gunner set, it comes with three ballistics, two steadiness, two tune up, three normal rapid up, three pierce up, and three spread up. Quite the eclectic combo of just about every gunner skill that there is, really. For the split job butterfly drop, you unlock the alucanth armor set for males. I believe this one has a different name for female characters, as some of these do, but it'll still unlock the same way, have the same aesthetic, and the same skill. The skills being 3 Critical Element, 5 Evade Window, 7 Critical Eye, and 5 Dragon Attack. Parts of this set may see use in elemental builds, we'll have to see how the armor meta sets a little bit first, as a lot of things have changed and been added to that side of things with Sunbreak. Finally, the last category of Rare Drop includes the Large Toxic Komori and the Large Armored Bream. The Large Toxic Komori unlocks the Skelda armor set for males, which I believe is called the Spio armor set for females. And this one was known for having a very strong belt in high rank, and well, it isn't really improved much from the high rank version, so it probably doesn't quite keep up with the high rank armor options in general. However, it would still be decent if you can get it early on in your story journey, as it still comes with two weakness exploit. As a whole, the set has three poison attack, five latent power, three mind's eye, three poison resistance, and two weakness exploit. The large armored bream is the unlock for the Vike armor set, which for the most part isn't great skill-wise, but has a fun aesthetic to it. The chest piece is also notable for just having a ton of decoration slots on it 
2. As a whole, this one has 3 ammo up, 3 recovery speed, 3 hunger resistance, 3 normal rapid up, and 3 razor sharp. Then the final armor unlocked from the Argosi system comes a whole different way from the black market trading system. When you set up a trade in the Argosi, you can press the prompt to put a little scroll symbol next to each buddy. With that scroll, they are where they will engage in black market deals while trading, coming back with a bunch of extra stuff highlighted in red. This is a good thing to have on permanently, really, as a lot of the stuff is just great for melding reasons, but it also has a chance to give you the locked treasure chest item, which unlocks the Barbania armor set, and unlike the name, this actually refers to a full-on pirate aesthetic. Oh, that's hot! As a whole, this set comes with three weakness exploit, one capture master, three resentment, three part breaker, three counter strike, and three good luck. It isn't bad, but it isn't great, really. This one honestly is worth pursuing for the aesthetic alone, though. And that is everything you can get from the Argosi system, but uh, wait, we aren't done yet, because of course this little cat has even more armor packed away in his short little fur, hiding in the Meowcenary system. You'll notice when you open up this menu, some of the options will have stars next to them. These stars refer to a chance at getting the rare item for the map if you send your buddies on the path shown. And each map has its own rare drop that rewards an armor set of its own. The maps that were around in high rank just give you master rank versions of their old armor sets, but of course we have two new maps too that each give an armor set themselves. Starting off at the beginning then, the Shrine Runes rare drop is the Rainbow Shrooms, which unlock the Grand Chaos set. This is only a chest and a headpiece, but they look quite nice and can of course be used well in layered armor. The skills that they have on them are one Mushroomancer and one Speed Eating on the helmet, as well as two Mushroomancer and Horn Maestro on the chest. The rare item of the Frost Islands is called the Jewel of the Fallen Star, and it unlocks the Edel armor set, which aesthetically is like one of those Halloween costumes that you have to spend the whole night explaining what you are. The skills on it are three Poison Resistance, three Speed Eating, three Recovery Up, 5 wide range, and capture master. Onto the sandy plains then, this area drops the sinister gloom cloth, which unlocks the death stench master rank set. This is a classic edgelord set in Monster Hunter, and I know that some people out there will love having this in their layered armor repertoire. And the skills that it has on it are 3 protective polish, 3 speed sharpening, 4 attack boost, 4 defy, 3 rapid morph, and 3 maximum might. The flooded forest rare item is called the Maximumkin. Yay! Hey, I got it! I got it! And this unlocks the Mozgarl master Master Rank Set, a classic Monster Hunter look with a nice underglow. And the skills on this one are 3 Blast Resistance, 5 Fire Attack, 3 Critical Element, 2 Tune Up, 3 Readiness, and 3 Flinch Free. Then finally for returning armor sets we have the rare item from the Lava Caverns which is the Flounce Jelly, unlocking the Jelly armor set once more. This is an aesthetic I'm quite a fan of, it mixes well with other armor and even just looks great by itself. The skills on it are 3 Part Breaker, 3 Divine Blessing, 3 Focus, 3 Blast attack, 3 slugger, and 3 charge master. Moving on to the brand new Meowson Ares rewards then, the rare item for the jungle map is the Nosic Shroom Cap, which unlocks the 5 element armor set, which personally is an absolutely gorgeous addition to the roster of armor available in the game. The skills on it are 3 Hellfire Cloak, 3 Mind's Eye, 3 Ballistics, 3 Blight Resistance, 3 Divine Blessing, and Master Mounter. And then finally today, the last armor set from this system comes from the rare item on the Citadel, which is the Grooved Bone. And this unlocks the Snowshear armor set. Honestly, this is one of the best looking sets in the entire game. I'll be amazed if I don't see people walking around with parts of this layered on top of their build. It just it looks incredible. The skills aren't too bad either, coming with 2 Grinder S, 3 Stamina Thief, 7 Attack Boost, 3 Tremor Resistance, 3 Recovery Speed, and 3 Latent Power. The helmet is of particular note too, coming with 1 Grinder S, 2 Attack Boost, a Stamina Thief, and a 2 Slot. It will probably take a bit to catch on with the general player base, but with certain weapons, the Grinder S skill is actually incredible, and this is just the best armor piece in the game with that skill on it. Generally you'll want two ranks if you're using it, but this gives you at least one good armor piece with a rank on it anyways. And that covers all of it, the 14 master rank armor sets you could easily miss on your journey through Sunbreak just by not checking out all the side systems and their shiny, shiny rewards. Not many of them will actually wind up being useful statistical items, but given at the end of the game you unlock the ability to turn anything and everything into layered armor, it is still great to have more and more options to fill out your closet. I hope you learned something new from this video, like if you liked it, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more, and most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, stay sweet. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice
to reiterate that it is nice to look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage is uh goodbye